are you? Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my channel, everyone. I'm the Global Cherry, and today we're going to discuss if it's worth it to play a quiet place the road ahead. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show! A Quiet Place The Road Ahead is a fresh horror game set in the chilling universe of The Quiet Place films. I'll admit, I hadn't watched the movies until I started playing this game, but now I'm hooked. The idea of turning the film's tense silent horror into a game has really piqued people's curiosity, especially since the concept of staying quiet, even to a whisper, is essential for survival. Imagine a world where a single loud breath, a misstep, or even an unfortunate fart could get you killed. Naturally, I had to dive deeper into this game to see if it does justice to that nerve-wracking concept. So, what exactly is A Quiet Place all about? In A Quiet Place The Road Ahead, you step into the shoes of Alex Taylor, a young woman trying to survive in a post-apocalyptic world where silence is the key to staying alive. As Alex, you navigate a desolate landscape, and right at the start of the game, you learn that she's pregnant. But don't worry, she's not alone. She has her boyfriend Martin by her side. <laughs> There goes Martin. The world is overrun by aliens with insanely sharp hearing, forcing Alex to flee her home and survive alone in the wilderness. But the aliens aren't the only threat she faces. Her journey is also deeply personal, with her backstory involving Martin and her family woven into the narrative, revealing the heavy guilt she carries over the people she's lost. <gasps> So, Alex isn't just staying quiet to avoid detection, she's also battling her own emotional turmoil, trying to keep it together despite the weight of her past. In a way, she's surviving not just the horrors around her, but also the darkest parts of herself. The voice acting for these characters is solid and helps elevate the emotional weight of the narrative. However, there are moments when the writing feels a bit melodramatic and at times underwhelming. Reminiscent of the quarry, for example, there's a scene where Martin asks Alex to sing, and her response feels so intense, like she's convinced singing will cause the earth to split in half. Despite these occasions, over-the-top moments, the story is engaging enough that you won't want to skip the cutscenes, and it's rare for survival games to delve so deeply into the emotional psyche of the protagonist. Adding to the tension, Alex has asthma, because you know, surviving in a world of monsters wasn't stressful enough? And this isn't just a plot detail, it plays a key role in the gameplay. Run for too long, panic, or lift heavy objects and Alex will need to stop and use an inhaler, adding a whole new layer of tension. This also comes to play when you're near an alien or in a dusty, dirty building. To manage these moments, you can also use pills to steady her breathing, making the mechanics both unique and nerve-wracking. At its core, A Quiet Place is a stealth-driven horror game with no combat, where your goal is to move from point A to point B in each chapter without getting caught by the aliens. Similar to the Outlast series, the gameplay mechanics and level design are fairly straightforward, but the stealth mechanics are well designed, with sound playing a critical role in creating tension. The atmosphere keeps you on edge, and while the exploration is light, the environmental puzzles and intense sequences break up the pace nicely. What truly sets this game apart, though, is how it uses sound, or more accurately, the fear of making any sound to shape the experience. Every move feels like a potential risk, and the game brilliantly amplifies that tension, making you aware of even the smallest noises. Sound plays a crucial role in bringing the world of a quiet place to life, especially during its quiet moments. The game excels in these instances, translating the palpable tension of the films into a deeply immersive experience. You'll find yourself holding your breath alongside Alex, acutely aware of every sound.
The way different surfaces react to your footsteps adds a layer of underlying tension that keeps you on edge. This emphasis on stealth and no combat makes sense. In the films, survival rarely hinges on combat. Instead, you must remain as quiet as possible to avoid alerting the alien monsters. Most of the gameplay revolves around gently pressing the left analog stick, ensuring Alex doesn't move too quickly. You'll sneak by tiptoeing, hiding, and praying you don't step on any noise the obstacles, a classic horror setup. To distract enemies, you can throw objects and use the environment to your advantage. One innovative mechanic is the phenometer Alex creates which measures your noise level against the surrounding sounds. If the environment is louder than you, you're safe, making rain a welcome relief as you traverse the landscape just like the movies. However, when you're navigating rocky terrain under the cover of night, stealth becomes paramount. Creeping through sewers adds another layer of tension as your footsteps resonate in the water, reminding you that one wrong move could invite an alien's deadly embrace. The game also introduces a clever mechanic where you can pour sand to muffle your footsteps on gravel, heightening the strategic elements of stealth. Flares are also available to illuminate dark areas, but they come at the cost of noise when lit. Your character also has a flashlight to navigate through dim environments, but even charging it creates sound, and the battery drains quickly, so I don't recommend using it frequently. To reach your objective, sometimes you'll need to carry planks quietly across obstacles, further adding to the challenge straining your character. The game's expertly designed shadows and lighting make you second guess every corner, perfectly capturing the eerie vibe of an abandoned world. When it comes to the aliens, they aren't your typical stalker enemies like Mr. X or Nemesis from the Resident Evil series. In this game, the monsters occasionally remain out of sight, and while you can hear their presence, they won't constantly pursue you. You're unlikely to stumble upon one unless it's a scripted moment or you make too much noise. These aliens pounce only when they detect sound, making stealth a crucial part of your survival. Occasionally, they will even scan the area to detect any noise, which adds a layer of tension as it blurs your screen. If you accidentally knock something over or step on a twig, be prepared to face the consequences. The atmosphere is thick with suspense, as even the smallest sound can lead to a terrifying encounter. One minor gripe I have with this game is its occasional overuse of sound effects. When your noise level level is just slightly louder than the environment. While the sound design is effective, like when you step on glass and the alien comes barreling through, There are moments when the repetitive vine-like boom becomes jarring, especially when the alien isn't even aware of your presence yet. Despite these shortcomings, I genuinely enjoyed the game, especially after the first two chapters where it's less handholdy. At just $30, I think it's priced accurately for the experience it offers. A Quiet Place the Road Ahead is a solid horror game that delivers genuine tension, emotional depth, and an appropriately eerie atmosphere. But here's the big question. Do you think you would survive in this world? Are you interested in playing it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe, like the video, and comment your opinions on this game. Thank you for watching, and that's all. Oh.